The Long Island Lacrosse Showcase has been the premier recruiting event in the nation for over a decade. Led by high school coaches in Nassau and Suffolk counties, our event annually draws the biggest and best college coaches. Past participants and MVPs have been Joey Spelina, Mac O'Keefe, and Xavier Arline. Registration is now open for this must-attend summer event. Register now at lilacshowcase.com and follow us on Instagram at lilacshowcase. And coming this fall, for the first time, our Girls Showcase. Varsity Media offers live streaming, videography, and photography services for all teams and individuals of all ages. In business since 2010, we are the trusted source when it comes to sports media coverage. If you have a big game that needs to be filmed or live streamed, or an athlete in need of action photography, reach out today and save 15% when you mention this ad. Contact us at 516-403-2050 or email ben at varsitymedia.net. At Catholic Health, when we see our island, we see extraordinary life. The most extraordinary of which is you. It's because our Catholic faith places the highest value on people, all people. It's the inspiration for our exceptional medical care with unmatched compassion. And it's why at Catholic Health, you're more than a patient. You're someone's family, best friend, and a neighbor to us all. Long live Long Island. Thank you for joining us at Kellenberg High School for the CHSAA Intersectional Championship game. Iona Prep storms in riding high off of what head coach Rick Trezano calls the greatest win in program history, knocking off Archbishop Stepanak on a last second shot by freshman phenom Tim Plunkett. The Gales' efforts to repeat as state champs will be hotly contested by Kellenberg, playing their best lacrosse down the stretch of the season and looking to pull off the upset under first-year head coach Kevin Fechtman. Firebirds and Gales clash with a state championship on the line, a state championship berth on the line right now on the Varsity Media Sports Network. The CHSAA championship game is brought to you by Catholic Health. I'm Gavin Shaw alongside my partner, Jared Veluzzi. Jared, this was a 14-6 win for Iona Prep when these teams met in the regular season, but Kellenberg has a history of making these games closer when the teams match up in the playoffs. Yeah, we saw a story like that in 2021. Iona Prep dominated in the regular season, and then these two teams met in the game like today, and it got down to the wire. Iona Prep ended up winning that game by one goal, but both of these teams have something in common. They bring a lot of energy and very physical. Don't be surprised today if we have a really good game on our hands, and it's not quite like that 14-6 game. And look, the expectations for Iona Prep this season weren't necessarily that they were going to be back in this game. State champions a year ago graduated seven Division I recruits. It was one of the best teams in school history, and this was nominally supposed to be the rebuild year, but thanks to a phenomenal group of freshmen, that hasn't been the case, and that group is well represented in our impact players for the Iona Prep Gales. And let's take a look. Tim Plunkett, Jared, someone you and I were talking about pregame. You, you got to see him before he started at Iona, and, and you think he's one of the best freshmen, maybe in America. Yeah, he certainly has to be up there in the class of 2026. I mean, Plunkett, who plays X attack, he can dodge to score. He can also dodge to feed 50 assists. He's a true quarterback of this offense. And, of course, you have Will Scala on defense, who is locked down. He's the senior leader on this team. And with such a young Gales team, it's great to have someone in control like that on the back end. Both of these guys are going to be key to a victory for the Gales. Team. And you see Will Scala, not just a threat defensively, but offensively, 11 points, nine goals this year. He will certainly be someone that Kellenberg has to watch. But of course, the Firebirds have a little bit of firepower in their own right this season. They lost to Adrian Nowak from a year ago, but this attack group still has some weapons. And let's take a look at 
are players to watch. Michael Felicetti leading them in points. He, he had an excellent effort the first time out against Iona Prep. And Charlie Villa, you, you talked to first-year head coach Kevin Feckman. Um, he hasn't seen a leader like this come through the program in a long time. Villa, guy who gets the defense organized, fires them up, and, and, and just such a cerebral guy in that. Yeah, both of these guys are going to be huge for Kellenberg today. Michael Felicetti, just a junior, but he had a huge sophomore campaign for the Firebirds last year. He's going to be the leader of this offense, and he certainly can get it done, whether it's feeding or scoring. And Charlie Villa, he's the anchor on defense. And when you're going against an Iona Prep team that could shoot the ball really well, you need to have a guy like Villa in that. He's going to be counted on a lot today to make some big-time saves. Villa, Tampa commit 124 saves on the season. He has been excellent. We noted Iona Prep it, it, it is a deep group of freshmen. It's not just Tim Plunkett as we get a look at their starting lineup here. The, these guys litter the whole roster, and it's a rarity. You look at the Iona Prep Media Guide, they'll tell you Billy Haggerty, he's the sixth freshman to ever start an attack. Tim Plunkett, he's the fifth freshman to ever start an attack. But also watch out for Crew Davis in the midfield, a guy who was a last second addition to the team, transferred in from Brunswick over the winter. You talk to head coach Rick Frizzano, he'll tell you he's going to be the best athlete on the field. But Jared, who stands out to you in the starting lineup? I mean, Billy Haggerty, you mentioned him, obviously just a freshman. He is one of the best catch and shoot prospects in the 2026 class. He can absolutely hammer the ball. He leads the team in goals just as a freshman. And playing this type of schedule for Iona Prep, it's really difficult to see Haggerty ball out like he's been has been something special and then of course blaze new is someone really terrific yeah the umass commit an academic all-american the short stick d midi slash long stick midi of the year in the chsaa 102 ground balls this year that is three times more than anyone else on this iona prep roster a three-time captain in basketball as well and we'd be remiss if we didn't note rocco portante and what he does in the cage for iona prep 151 saves this season, 55%, and coming off a performance against Stepanak that Rick Trezano called one of the best performances by an individual in the history of the Iona Prep program. Yeah, against Stepanak, they were down 4 0, eight first quarter saves by the goalie. And when you take a look at what, you know, Portante did, making those saves is so key because it could have got out of hand and out of hand quick. And he stood tall, kept his team in the game, and now Iona Prep is here playing for a downstate title. And for Kellenberg, right, we're talking about a group that went just 6-9 and nine this season, but have definitely improved over the course of the season. And there is no shortage of talent in the attack and midfield group. Yeah, a lot of athleticism. I mean, take a look at Donovan O'Toole, just a sophomore. Kellenberg doesn't move up too many underclassmen. Watch out for him. He's one of the quickest players on this roster. And on defense, you might notice some of these names from the football season. Christopher Moore and Owen McDevitt love to hit. This is a very physical lineup, so they're going to make it very difficult on this Iona prep team. And you look at that midfield, and Peter Sluka, obviously a familiar name, younger brother of Matt Sluka, now starring a quarterback at Holy Prep. He's an excellent finisher. Michael Anzalone, their top two-handed option. He's fantastic. Donovan O'Toole on the crease. And we already told you about Charlie Villa. So Kellenberg looking to pull off the upset today here on the Varsity Media Sports Network. And we are going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll have our keys to the game and get you ready for the opening faceoff. It's Kellenberg and Iona, a berth in the New York State CHSAA State Championship game on the line when we return. You're watching the Varsity Media Sports Network, the home for New York high school sports. At Catholic Health, when we see our island, we see extraordinary life. The most extraordinary of which is you. It's because our Catholic faith places the highest value on people, all people. It's the inspiration for our exceptional medical care with unmatched compassion. And it's why at Catholic Health, you're more than a patient. You're someone's family, best friend, and a neighbor to us all. Long live Long Island. Varsity Media offers live sportscasts for any event. Our productions include announcers, multiple camera angles, graphics, instant replay, and so much more. Hankinson getting it back. Hankinson going in, dropping it back. The shot of the goal! That's it! That's it! Norton! Norton! Pittsburgh, the Class 8 champions! 
If you want to enhance your events or make the experience better for your viewers, reach out to Varsity Media today and learn more about our live sportscast. Contact Varsity Media at 516-403-2050 or email ben at varsitymedia.net. Are you a local business looking to advertise? Well, Varsity Media is the perfect place for you. We offer affordable rates both inside our live stream broadcast and through our social media channels. With coverage all over Long Island targeting the 16 to 54 demographic, why not take advantage and advertise today? For pricing and inventory availability, contact us today at 516-403-2050 or email ben at varsitymedia.net. Now is the time to order a college recruiting video with Varsity Media. College recruiting videos can save thousands of dollars on college tuition and help land a spot on the team. Our videos include your best plays set to music with spot shadowing effects to help you stand out from the competition. Contact Varsity Media today and mention this ad to save 15%. Call 516-403-2050 or email jeff at varsitymedia.net. You're watching the Varsity Media Sports Network, the home for New York high school sports. At Catholic Health, when we see our island, we see extraordinary life. The most extraordinary of which is you. It's because our Catholic faith places the highest value on people, all people. It's the inspiration for our exceptional medical care with unmatched compassion. And it's why at Catholic Health, you're more than a patient. You're someone's family, best friend, and a neighbor to us all. Long live Long Island. Varsity Media offers live sportscasts for any event. Our productions include announcers, multiple camera angles, graphics, instant replay, and so much more. Hankinson getting it back. Hankinson going in, dropping it back. The shot of the goal! That's it! That's it! Norton! Norton! Pittsburgh, the Class 8 champions! If you want to enhance your events or make the experience better for your viewers, reach out to Varsity Media today and learn more about our live sportscast. Contact Varsity Media at 516-403-2050 or email ben at varsitymedia.net. Are you a local business looking to advertise? Well, Varsity Media is the perfect place for you. We offer affordable rates both inside our live stream broadcast and through our social media channels. With coverage all over Long Island targeting the 16 to 54 demographic, why not take advantage and advertise today? For pricing and inventory availability, contact us today at 516-403-2050 or email ben at varsitymedia.net. About to get going here at Kettlenburg High School Intersectional Championship spot in the CHSAA New York State title game on the line. And let's take a look at our keys to the game. Jared, the Iona Prep Gales, 16-4 and four on the year. What do they have to do to avoid the upset today? I mean, they're coming off of, you know, what you said, the biggest program win that they've ever had. They cannot let down after beating Stepanak. They have to get out to a fast start. They don't want to let Kellenberg right off the bat get off to a quick start. And the freshmen for the Gales, they have to continue stepping up. They have been some of the best players offensively. They need to keep on finding the back of the net. And, and then for Kellenberg, I mean, you talk about that fast start. They got off to a 4 nothing lead in the first game between the two leagues. Iona Prep ends that game on a 14-2 run. How do they change the narrative this time around? Yeah, for Kellenberg, it really all starts at the face-off X, right? If Iona Prep starts to play, make it, take it, it can get very dangerous because of how much firepower this Gales offense has. So if Kellenberg can win a lot of draws and they can play well defensively, this will be a very good game because those short stick D middies, they have improved throughout the year. So if they can win their matchups, this Kellenberg team could be in pretty good shape. Kevin Feckman said that that was perhaps the biggest improvement the team had over the course of the year. Their short stick team middies initially getting picked on a little bit earlier in the season, now holding up really well in those matches. As you see, the two teams, Kellenberg in the white, blue numbers. Iona Prep in their maroon and gold as we are about to get going. Opening faceoff going to be Christian Tapia, and he is going to do his best against James Rizell and Tapia has been fantastic on the season. The CHSAA Faceoff Man of the Year, 63% on the season. Rosellen at just 44% on the year. So he's, he's going to have to play big today. They're both big, strong kids at the X, and here we go. 
And Rosellen able to win the opening faceoff, upsetting Tappy and perhaps setting the tone for a Kellenberg team that always seems to perform better when the postseason begins. Yeah, Rosellen did a good job there on the faceoff. Actually, he didn't win the initial clamp, but he was able to get the ball after Tapia popped it out to himself, and Kellenberg gets the first possession of the game. And Kellenberg offensively, they look to dodge out of their midfield and their attackers, not necessarily creators like Adrian Nowak was a year ago, more catch and finish guys, though they're very good at doing just that. And the Sound of Prep defense not afraid to extend out. A lot of big and athletic guys on the Gales' back end. Yeah, Rick Trezano, the, the quote was, we will pressure you the second you get off the bus. And there's a nice move in space from Felicetti looking for room. And now trying to curl to the cage is O'Toole. Cut off well, though, by Ryan Lundstedt. Veteran group of defenders for Iona Prep. Chernoff. Nothing doing as he tries to go at Jack Kidder. And the Sayona Prep defense, they are really pressing out. They were just locking off a near side short stick. Didn't it? Oh, what a passing sequence. Tic-tac-toe, but the stop from Portante denying a point-blank look for Kellenberg from Donovan O'Toole. That's a big-time stop. Kellenberg making them pay there as it was a backdoor cut originally, but unable to find the back of the net was O'Toole. You know, O'Toole giving up some size, but has plenty of speed. A little bit of bully ball for Felicetti, but cut off well that time. By Iona Prep defensively, it was Sal Panzarella getting in his way. Now here we go, Michael Lands alone. He's two-handed, has time, space in that one. Might have hit off the post, if not the left foot of Portante, who's standing on his head to start this ball game. So a couple of early opportunities for Kellenberg, Jared. Maybe even a little bit better than we expected them to look offensively to start this game. Yeah, and Anzalone showing off the strength there as he ran right through the short stick, D-Midi's stick. And Anzalone, two-handed guy, can get to either his right or left, almost finishing that one, but great save in that for Iona Prep. Chernoff resets to Axo Tool, trying to use his quickness. You got to watch him over the summer. Special guy in terms of his speed. Nice ball movement. Another shot, another stop for Portante. But the ball up for grabs on the precipice of the cage. And now Portante able to beat Thomas Jack to it. Portante doing his best impression of an encore from the Archbishop Stepanak game. Three saves on that possession to keep it a 0-0 ball game. And for the Firebirds, if they were up 1-0, of course, a lot of momentum would be on their way. But Portante had a different idea in mind. He is, he is just about the, the nicest kid you will ever meet, according to Rick Trezano, but has that competitive edge that he turns up when the game gets started. So quick stoppage in play. A couple of substitutions come on for Iona Prep. And on that possession for Portante, a couple big saves, but they were difficult. Mm. Anzalone's shot was well-placed as it was off stick low, but he got a foot on it. And then, of course, the point blank save on O'Toole, very difficult to make, and he comes up big on the first possession for Iona Prep. And now we get to see this explosive Gales offense. Yeah, so possession will restart with Christian Tappy. And to your point, I mean, Tim Plunkett's a phenom, but he's not the only one. Billy Haggerty. 50 points this year, 41 goals, leads the team as a freshman. A 44% shooter as a freshman, that is rare. Yeah, that is absolutely scary numbers right there. And Haggerty's a guy that loves to shoot the ball, so to have that efficiency is something special. And, and you noted it, it was so big for Kellenberg to, to replicate that start they had in the first game, give themselves a cushion given the difficulty. We presume at least they'll have it face off, so they got the first one. Iona, this is a ball movement heavy offense they experiment with a lot of different sets and this time the experimentation goes wrong they lose the ball Owen Fitzgerald the dynamic long stick for Kellenberg able to force a turnover and now Kellenberg breaking the other way with Jack Ligerzewski and throwing it too far ahead so Iona Prep will earn the ball right back as they'll try to beat the ride so here comes Blaze New senior leader up ahead to Brandon Blank and Blank is maybe the fastest guy on the team but he'll pump the brakes for the time being. So Kellenberg an opportunity, wanted to go against an unsettled defense, but maybe could have pulled that one back just a little bit. Yeah, the Firebirds are looking to take advantage of you know that type of situation, but they weren't able to get an opportunity there. And you know, if Kellenberg, they showed that they could play six on six against Iona Prep on that first possession, some good opportunities, just nothing to show for it. So they try to go to work here. Cut off this time is Matt Plunkett. 
Older brother of Tim nearly losing the ball. Vicious defense that time from Owen McDevitt. Plunkett, a physical Dodger, but just a sophomore. Has a man open. Catching it is Dylan Reese. Dylan Reese puts it in for the opening goal of this one. The junior who has 39 on the season notches his 40th. And that is a lefty shooter's dream right there as Reese was kind of all left alone in that lefty shooter spot. And a great skip pass and time and room from 10 yards out. Reese is going to finish that. Make that 40 goals for him on the year. And, and Kellenberg had been hyper-aggressive defensively. It had been working, but that they got a little over-aggressive there, a little bit too pulled out, and it created an opening for Iona Prep. So Rosellen against Tapia. This time Tapia able to bat it out. Kellenberg well-positioned, but man, what a run from Tapia to recover his own ground ball. And those are the little plays that really matter in games like this. Winning the ground game is going to be enormous for whoever wants to come out on top here today. So Crew Davis, another one of those phenomenal freshman future high-level division. One guy, and look, you, you, you talk to Rick Trezano, and he, he wants to emphasize, like, the, these freshmen, you, you don't want to put too much on them, but at the same time, they're not just future D1 players. They're future ACC, Big Ten type of kids. Yeah, they're going to be primetime national recruits once September 1st of their junior year comes. They have that type of athleticism, and you know they already showed it at the varsity level here throughout the season. And, and that's a change this year, right? Because in the past year, kids committing as freshmen, sophomores. Now it's the recruiting timeline pushed back a little bit, and maybe that's good for Richard Zano keeping his guys focused these next few years. And there's a big time stop from Charlie Villa, kick, save, and a butte denying Crew Davis. Diana so Prep will. Not get the 2-0 lead. They sought out a little over five minutes in this one. Ball will restart in the stick of Chris Moore. Yeah, big save by Villa. And then a mental mistake by Iona Prep simply just going off sides to keep in, to keep the ball on that side of the field. So Kellenberg looking to take advantage of it, but they make a mental mistake of their own, so Iona Prep will take over. And we've seen that now. Two possessions in a row for Kellenberg, a chance to respond. And they had a turnover now. Quick pass, quick shot, 2 nothing lead. Just like that, that's what Billy Haggerty does. Unsettled situations is what Iona Prep loves because of the shooters they have on offense. And after Kellenberg made that mistake, they were trying to get their offense midfielders off the field, and that gave Iona Prep an opportunity to make them pay. Brendan Blank to Billy Haggerty, and that's that catch and shoot that Billy Haggerty possesses, and it's 2 nothing I want to prep. And you love that from Blank, right? Didn't look over at Haggerty until he made the pass, didn't tip off the defense, and he's such a threat with his speed, you kind of have to honor that if you're Kellenberg. Yeah, because Blank could simply just go straight up the middle, mm. and he's shown that all year long. He finds Haggerty, and I want to prep getting off to that quick start that they needed. The, the one bit of good news for Kellenberg so far, James Rizellen, and now two for three on faceoffs, and, and won the initial clamp all three times. Battling for space is O'Toole. Can't fight his way through a double team. Ball skims out and easily taken by Lundstedt. Transitioning the other way, Haggerty! Another one. Three to nothing, Iona Prep, just like that. And it all started onto the Gales. You know, when Kellenberg won that faceoff, they pressed out on those attackmen. They were able to force a turnover, and then it's the transition game for Iona Prep. And they are so, so dangerous, and especially number 10 in Maroon, Billy Haggerty with his second of the day. And Blaze New getting involved that time. Really forcing a lot of these Firebird players to go to their weekends. And the couple of times you've seen Kellenberg now just, just try to play bully ball, and Iona Prep has held up time and time again. Ands alone. That's a tricky attempt and another spectacular save from Portante. And he'll kick off transition the other way. Crew Davis streaking through the heart of the Firebirds defense. Extra pass. And now Billy Haggerty will slow things up. That's a great job by the Kellenberg defense. They were able to get back, so it wasn't a clean four on three. Fitzgerald didn't have to completely slide off his guy. He was able to go back to Billy Haggerty and... Number 10 in Maroon wasn't able to show off that laser that time. Yeah, give, give Kevin Fechtman a lot of credit, clearly making some adjustments since the end of that first quarter. Talking to Rick Trezano, I mean, he, he could not be higher on Kevin Fechtman as a first-year head coach. He's done such a good job with this Kellenberg group. Yeah, he's been awesome for the Firebirds this season. Anslone had a great shot on that possession. Portante just made another difficult save. So reset to Blaze New. Operating one-on-one, -on -one. nice slide from Chris Moore. 
And, and again, this has been a group defensively for Kellenberg that's gotten better and better over the course of the year. The Siona prep team, kind of a different animal than what, what they've had to contest with a lot of the year. And, and there's a big stop from Charlie Villa. He's been a big part of it. And finally, some transition going the other way for Kellenberg. It's Owen Fitzgerald who scored seven goals this year in this situation. But at the last second, the ball checked out of his stick. And the physicality flashing for Iona Prep, battling for the ground ball. A little bit too physical as Kellenberg will maintain possession. Yeah, that's going to be a loose ball push there. Kellenberg is going to stay with possession. But Owen Fitzgerald, he's one of the most entertaining players on Long Island. And he showed it there with the speed, almost getting that shot to go. But Iona Prep's defense able to stand in the way of that shot, getting the block. So still at a 5 nothing game. But Fitzgerald has that athleticism to really make plays. He's a real catalyst for them. And a guy who can generate momentum out of thin air with that type of play. But Kellenberg not able to pay off him getting them going in transition that time. Another big time stop for Portante. Already up to about six saves in this ball game. And that was another solid shot from range, but Portante is showing, you know, if you're shooting it from 14 to 16 yard range, it is not going to go very well for you. He had another big time save, and that, I believe that was Grimm on the shot on the far side. He changed levels high to low, but Portante did a good job getting there. Yeah, and it's worth noting that it wasn't necessarily a guarantee that Portante was going to start at the beginning of this year as he was in... A, a pretty significant battle to win the starting job with, with one of the, another talented freshmen. And he won it, and he really hasn't looked back since after having to sit behind Craig Daria a year ago, the fantastic state champion goalie now at Sacred Heart. And O'Toole tried to fit it in, but just nothing doing. You, 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 you feel for this Kellenberg attacking group. They're playing with really in a phone booth. And now streaking the other way. And getting stopped for the moment is Kidder. Kidder's done a nice job forcing turnovers, then pushing. A couple of subs go on and off, and perhaps a timeout taken. Nope, we'll get our reset now with Brandon Blank in possession. And both teams getting their personnel onto the field. And with Iona Prep up 5 nothing, we actually haven't seen Tim Plunk initiate too much from X yet. And I think that's one of the more surprising parts that the Gales have had such success so far. Matt Plunkett maybe doing a little too much there, trying to battle a triple team. But the ball bounces Iona Prep's way as it has most of the day. Plank, nice recovery for Kellenberg. Dylan Reese, who got the opening goal of this one. Low shot, finds its way in. And that's the first goal of this ball game for Iona Prep from number 23, Jack Gagan. So everyone's getting in on the mix for the Gales. Yeah, and Gagan does a good job on this dodge and the high bouncers. Or apologies, that was, that was Dylan Reese again. Yeah, and you know what they say, you know, high bouncers will go. He got his hands free, and it looked like Villa might have not seen it as there was some traffic in front of him, and Iona Prep up 6-0. So Dylan Reese, his second goal of the ball game. And again, I, the, the difference in this game, Iona Prep able to win one-on-one. -on -one. Kellenberg, no such luck on the other side of the ball. Yeah, the Gales really have been showing their athleticism. They have numbers here. It's Tapia. He can do that. 31 points, 15 goals, 16 assists on the season. More yeah, those, than just a Fogo. Yeah, those are scary numbers as a Fogo. 31 points, definitely something, you know, not easy to accomplish. And he brings such a threat on the field because, you know, a lot of Fogos, they don't want to play defense. Top people stay on the field and maybe, you know, cause some odd man situations. It's a real compliment to this group of, of attackers because last year, again, we, we noted 7D1 team, 7D1 players, excuse me, one of the more talented teams in Iona Prep history. And, and they used Tapia on attack because he, he was just that good. And this year they felt like they had the depth where they didn't have to do that. And he was more of a luxury piece. Still rotating in there, circling around. Blank the shot. Oh, a magic trick from Brandon Blank. Iona Prep just showing off at this point. And Blank giving a bow to the crowd there after that one. He makes it 7 0. And this one, truly unbelievable. He does a good job off ball, leading, le excuse me, losing his guy and then fighting through a defender and a little behind the back. 
getting the crowd going. Iona Prep up 7 nothing here. Jared, I, I know you were going to that back in your days at St. Anthony's, right? That was, that was a common, common finish for you? <laughs> Behind the bag, I try. I yeah, try. Yeah, sure. You, know. yeah, you got you to go for it. <laughs> and Rosellen got the win initially. Ball batted back. And it'll be Kellenberg ball. The Firebirds just looking for a reason to believe at this point. 7.15 to go in the second quarter. Already down 7 to nothing. Again, these teams met up earlier this year. It was a 4 to nothing lead for Kellenberg earlier in that game. Iona Prep felt like they found something as it went along. They scored 6 in a row. Scored 14 of the last 16. But you just have the feeling based off recent history between these two that it was going to be a close game. Kellenberg, the more experienced team. But Iona Prep, man, they, they've played... Um, more like a group of veterans than they actually are. Yeah, 100%. You know, they seem very poised and aggressive at the same time. That's a very scary combination to have. And savvy that belies their age. Chernoff. And Iona Prep just packing it in defensively. Dodging from up top and alone. And they're quick to slide to Anzalone as he's one of the better middies here. He, he is typically the igniter of this Firebirds offense. He's the guy up top who's supposed to win his matchup, draw two, but it just feels like Iona Prep, they can slide and recover so easily. It's a ball sent in. Oh, that was a good idea, but unable to handle initially was Thomas Jack, and Portante smothers the possession. And that was a golden opportunity for Kellenberg, picking up the trash in front, but Portante made a big save. It's an excellent fight from Felicetti. Knocked it out of Portante's stick, but Portante had some help. Sal Panzarella staying back, making sure his goalie was protected. And a timeout taken by Kellenberg with the lead 7 to nothing. Iona Prep, 549 to go in the second quarter. We'll step aside on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for upcoming schedules and content and on social media at Varsity Media. At Catholic Health, when we see our island, we see extraordinary life. The most extraordinary of which is you. It's because our Catholic faith places the highest value on people, all people. It's the inspiration for our exceptional medical care with unmatched compassion. And it's why at Catholic Health, you're more than a patient. You're someone's family, best friend, and a neighbor to us all. Long live Long Island. Varsity Media offers live streaming, videography, and photography services for all teams and individuals of all ages. In business since 2010, we are the trusted source when it comes to sports media coverage. If you have a big game that needs to be filmed or live streamed, or an athlete in need of action photography, reach out today and save 15% when you mention this ad. Contact us at 516-403-2050 or email ben at varsitymedia.net. 7 nothing. Iona Prep, 5.49 to go in the second quarter. And there's been a distinct lack of, I don't know if creativity is the right term for Kellenberg offensively, but they have to find a way to mix things up to get it going. And defensively, they, they've had their issues as well, and they potentially continue here, if not for Charlie Villa diving to save that shot. And that was a big hit in the open field, too, from Kellenberg. You know, they're really going to look to up the ante when it comes to the physicality, but if the Firebirds do get this clear, which they do now, they're going to have to really expand offensively. You know, maybe we'll see some more picks, some inverts, maybe some two-man game behind the net and see if Kellenberg could try to change things up here as, you know, an adjustment certainly needed, of course, not getting on the board with just five minutes left in the first half. And, Jared, you, you've had the opportunity to play in these types of matchups before. What, what, what is kind of the mindset for Kellenberg, and, and what, what do you think Kevin Feckman was telling his team during that last time out? I mean, there's a lot of lacrosse left. Of course, you know, you're down 7-0, but one goal at a time is going to be the name of the game here for Kellenberg and just winning the little plays. And Felicetti, good catch in space, but, but what a check instantaneously laid down by Sal Panzarella to dispossess him of the ball. 
and, and that, that's what it's been for Iona Prep. They've just been on the mark all day defensively. There's an excellent play from Owen Fitzgerald. Lost it, but has some backup to get it right back. Michael Anzalone there on the ground ball. So numbers for a moment for Kellenberg with Donovan O'Toole. Going to slow things up again. He, he's a guy that has a bit of juice for Kellenberg. Able to draw some slides. Just a sophomore, though, giving up some size. And that match with the long stick. Scala O'Toole able to beat him. A catch. Anzalone fires. And again, Portante on top of it. And that was a good possession for the Kellenberg offense. O'Toole did an amazing job creating separation from his defender. He got the skip pass over to Anzalone, but Portante makes another good save, that time on a low shot. And he has just been terrific for Iona Prep. You really can't say anything else about him. And streaking up the field is Pasacrita. Working from X, Plunkett on the give and go, but Kellenberg able to smother it. Streaking ahead, numbers for the Firebirds. Thomas Jack passes it off. O'Toole with Scala on him. Wins the race to the cage, but Scala got the ball from behind illegally. So it will be a man-up opportunity, and Kellenberg with 3.26 to go in the second quarter. Might get on the board. Yeah, this is a must-score opportunity for the Firebirds here. As Iona Prep, you know, they went for a trail check. It looked like maybe got him in the head. And now you have one minute here on the man up. Get your shooters into the spots. Run, the, run those special plays you like because the Firebirds really need a goal here. And Jared O'Toole, someone you, you noted pregame, special speed. Someone talking to Kevin Feckman this week. He believes there's a really bright future in the program. He, he's been the one guy who's been able to get wins one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, his quickness is something special. Felicetti. Bounce shot, and Kellenberg has their opening goal of this intersectional championship, and it comes courtesy of Maverick Chernoff. And Chernoff, the strong junior, getting a step-down shot opportunity. You know, that's what you get on the man up. Great vision there from behind the cage as Felicetti navigating. He gets the skip pass over to Chernoff, and time and room, he delivers some high heat and Kellenberg getting that needed goal. 17th on the year. Again, not a big goal scorer, but an opportunistic one. Finding it right there. Again, if you're Kellenberg, maybe a tall task, but 3.16 to go in the quarter. You get a goal, you get two. You can talk yourself into this being a ball game at halftime. You also have to stop Iona Prep, of course, from adding to the lead. Yeah, the Firebirds, I mean, if you make this a 7-3 game, then we're, ser we're seriously talking something here. I mean, we have a lot of lacrosse left to play, and the Firebirds have shown that they can score in spurts this season. You imagine Iona Prep just trying to play situational across here. But you also don't want to lose that tempo, right? They have a 245 left. We'll see what the Gales have cooking up here offensively. Matt Plunkett thrown away. And Kellenberg will get their opportunity. A little over two and a half minutes to go. And that's not what you want for Iona Prep. As, you know, that's just a sloppy mistake there, throwing it away. Give credit to the Kellenberg defense, though. Physicality definitely caused the pass to go a little bit low. And Farvards have done a good job in the clearing game as well. Now getting another opportunity. Yeah, McDevitt nearly jinxed that time. Lost the ball. And it's a Kellenberg timeout. Down by six goals. Kevin Feckman going to talk things over. And... We'll keep it right here to tell you a little bit about Kevin Feckman in his first year as a head coach. Graduated from Levittown Division in 2009. Was a midfielder at Eastern Connecticut. Started off coaching on the football program. That's so good at Kellenberg. And, and like so many programs on Long Island, Jared, there's that great connection between the football program and the lacrosse program. I mean, we were just talking about in regards to Matt Sluka, who, of course, was a star for both teams the last couple of years. Yeah, I mean, so many dual sport athletes. I mean, Matt Sluka is, you know, a legend here at Kellenberg. He won two championships, and then, of course, he's doing his thing at Holy Cross. His younger brother, Peter, and his other younger brother, Thomas, who graduated two years ago, all terrific players, whether it's football or lacrosse. And then, you know, he's taking some looks on this roster here today. You know, we've been mentioning Owen McDevitt's name, beast of a defensive end. We also saw him physically out there as a defender in lacrosse. He loves laying the body and he has been solid for Kellenberg. And, you know, so many dual sport athletes, we really see that all over the island, especially in the Catholic League when we take a look at Kellenberg, St. Anthony's, Chaminade, Iona Prep, all of that. Yeah, and it, it is kind of the beauty of, like, 
the, the, the programs like often share coaches and are kind of married at the hip and the work you put in for football contributes to lacrosse and vice versa. And Kellenberg's going to need to hope all the work they put in over the last year pays off. Right now, 2.24 to go. Season on the line. Maverick turn off with the ball. Just trying to make the deficit manageable. Heading into the half, Donovan O'Toole, their best chance of doing that. Draws two, tries to loft it over the cage, but Portante on top of the crossfield pass. Yeah, Portante does a good job being active and then getting it to Blaze New. And when you get it to number 11, Maroon, he seems like a one man clear out there. 102 ground balls on the season. That is a ridiculous number for someone who does not take face offs. Yeah, that's scary from New. And he has been a lockdown defensive midfielder here today as he has been owning his matchups. And hasn't had to do a lot offensively again this year. 43 points, 26 goals, 17 assists. As the season has gone along, go guys like Tim Plunkett, uh, Brandon Blank, um, Crew Davis, Billy Haggerty have all gotten increasingly comfortable. And it's allowed Crew Davis to be that true two way midi um, and focus on defense a little bit more, which obviously has been the emphasis for him throughout his career. Now here we go. Iona Prep is probably. Noted by Rick Trezano if they threw it away quickly. Next time, take the air out of the ball if you get it back. Hold for the final shot. Worst case scenario, it's pretty good. You're up 7 nothing heading into the half. Yeah, they definitely want to take the last shot here with just 105 left in the second quarter. And they move the ball around the perimeter a couple times. Definitely want to get a long position and, you know, give their defense rest and end the ball, excuse me, end the half with the ball. Plunk it. Unable to burrow his way past hands alone. Now Iona Prep, a little more aggressive. Reese had backup. This Iona Prep team that steadily improved throughout the year, only brought back three starters, had an early loss to Seton Hall Prep. Now one of the best couple of teams in New Jersey, Connecticut Power, Staples. But learn from those experiences, and these freshmen are ready to go now. Tim Plunkett, chief amongst them. And on the putback, another one for Iona Prep, Brandon Blank. Finishing it off. And that was a miscommunication on defense there from the Firebirds as it was Tim Plunkett who was carrying from X and Brandon Blank was just wide open. McDevitt slid, but the two slide was not there, leaving the middle of the field wide open and Blank is going to finish that every single time. And, and you see for Plunkett, right, that inherent understanding of his own gravity, the ability to drag out two defenders, create that opening. And, you know, that's what he does best, adding another assist to his name this year. But he also noticed that there was no second slide to blank. And Iona Prep up 8-1. Plunkett doing an amazing job quarterbacking this offense. Yeah, Rosellen did a nice job batting that face off back. And Kellenberg wasn't able to recover, but now they'll get the ball back. One final opportunity. And it's Fitzgerald Electric in the midfield up ahead to Jack Ligerzewski, who can't hit. Kellenberg now will have to go against the settled defense with 12 seconds to go in the first half. Going to work, O'Toole trying to find space, giving up a lot of size in this matchup. Throws it in. Iona Prep throws it down the field. And was there a whistle down? No, that'll do it for the opening half of play. An 8-1 to one lead for Iona Prep over Kellenberg halfway through this one. And one final look at this closing sequence of the first half. Blank. Got an opening behind his head. A hat trick for Brandon Blank. The Siena commit taking over. Iona Prep dominant 8-1 to one over Kellenberg at the half. You're watching the Varsity Media Sports Network. The home for New York high school sports. At Catholic Health, when we see our island, we see extraordinary life. The most extraordinary of which is you. It's because our Catholic faith places the highest value on people, all people. It's the inspiration for our exceptional medical care with unmatched compassion. And it's why at Catholic Health, you're more than a patient. You're someone's family, best friend, and a neighbor to us all. Long live Long Island. The Long Island Lacrosse Showcase has been the premier recruiting event in the nation for over a decade. 
led by high school coaches in Nassau and Suffolk counties. Our event annually draws the biggest and best college coaches. Past participants and MVPs have been Joey Spelina, Mac O'Keefe, and Xavier Arline. Registration is now open for this must-attend summer event. Register now at lilacshowcase.com and follow us on Instagram at lilacshowcase. And coming this fall, for the first time, our Girls Showcase. Varsity Media offers live sportscasts for any event. Our productions include announcers, multiple camera angles, graphics, instant replay, and so much more. Hankinson getting it back. Hankinson going in, dropping it back. The shot of the goal! That's it! That's it! Norton! Norton! Pittsburgh, the Class 8 champions! If you want to enhance your events or make the experience better for your viewers, reach out to Varsity Media today and learn more about our live sportscast. Contact Varsity Media at 516-403-2050 or email ben at varsitymedia.net. Varsity Media offers live streaming, videography, and photography services for all teams and individuals of all ages. In business since 2010, we are the trusted source when it comes to sports media coverage. If you have a big game that needs to be filmed or live streamed, or an athlete in need of action photography, reach out today and save 15% when you mention this ad. Contact us at 516-403-2050 or email ben at varsitymedia.net. Are you a local business looking to advertise? Well, Varsity Media is the perfect place for you. We offer affordable rates both inside our live stream broadcast and through our social media channels. With coverage all over Long Island targeting the 16 to 54 demographic, why not take advantage and advertise today? For pricing and inventory availability, contact us today at 516-403-2050 or email ben at varsitymedia.net. Now is the time to order a college recruiting video with Varsity Media. College recruiting videos can save thousands of dollars on college tuition and help land a spot on the team. Our videos include your best plays set to music with spot shadowing effects to help you stand out from the competition. Contact Varsity Media today and mention this ad to save 15%. Call 516-403-2050 or email jeff at varsitymedia.net. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for upcoming schedules and content and on social media at Varsity Media. You're watching the Varsity Media Sports Network, the home for New York high school sports. At Catholic Health, when we see our island, we see extraordinary life. The most extraordinary of which is you. It's because our Catholic faith places the highest value on people, all people. It's the inspiration for our exceptional medical care with unmatched compassion. And it's why at Catholic Health, you're more than a patient. You're someone's family, best friend, and a neighbor to us all. Long live Long Island. The Long Island Lacrosse Showcase has been the premier recruiting event in the nation for over a decade. Led by high school coaches in Nassau and Suffolk counties, our event annually draws the biggest and best college coaches. Past participants and MVPs have been Joey Spelina, Mac O'Keefe, and Xavier Arline. Registration is now open for this must-attend summer event. Register now at lilacshowcase.com and follow us on Instagram at lilacshowcase. And coming this fall, for the first time, our Girls Showcase. Varsity Media offers live sportscasts for any event. Our productions include announcers, multiple camera angles, graphics, instant replay, and so much more. Hankinson getting it back. Hankinson going in, dropping it back. The shot of the goal! That's it! That's it! Norton! Norton! Pittsburgh, the Class 8 champions! If you want to enhance your event or make the experience better for your viewers, reach out to Varsity Media today and learn more about our live sportscast. Contact Varsity Media at 516-403-2050 or email ben at varsitymedia.net. Varsity Media offers live streaming, videography, and photography services for all teams and individuals of all ages. 
In business since 2010, we are the trusted source when it comes to sports media coverage. If you have a big game that needs to be filmed or live streamed, or an athlete in need of action photography, reach out today and save 15% when you mention this ad. Contact us at 516-403-2050 or email ben at varsitymedia.net. Are you a local business looking to advertise? Well, Varsity Media is the perfect place for you. We offer affordable rates both inside our live stream broadcast and through our social media channels. With coverage all over Long Island targeting the 16 to 54 demographic, why not take advantage and advertise today? For pricing and inventory availability, contact us today at 516-403-2050 or email ben at varsitymedia.net. Now is the time to order a college recruiting video with Varsity Media. College recruiting videos can save thousands of dollars on college tuition and help land a spot on the team. Our videos include your best plays set to music with spot shadowing effects to help you stand out from the competition. Contact Varsity Media today and mention this ad to save 15%. Call 516-403-2050 or email jeff at varsitymedia.net. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for upcoming schedules and content and on social media at Varsity Media. You're watching the Varsity Media Sports Network, the home for New York high school sports. At Catholic Health, when we see our island, we see extraordinary life. The most extraordinary of which is you. It's because our Catholic faith places the highest value on people, all people. It's the inspiration for our exceptional medical care with unmatched compassion. And it's why at Catholic Health, you're more than a patient. You're someone's family, best friend, and a neighbor to us all. Long live Long Island. The Long Island Lacrosse Showcase has been the premier recruiting event in the nation for over a decade. Led by high school coaches in Nassau and Suffolk counties, our event annually draws the biggest and best college coaches. Past participants and MVPs have been Joey Spelina, Mac O'Keefe, and Xavier Arline. Registration is now open for this must-attend summer event. Register now at lilacshowcase.com and follow us on Instagram at lilacshowcase. And coming this fall, for the first time, our Girls Showcase. Varsity Media offers live sportscasts for any event. Our productions include announcers, multiple camera angles, graphics, instant replay, and so much more. Hankinson getting it back. Hankinson going in, dropping it back. The shot of the goal! That's it! That's it! Norton! Norton! Pittsburgh, the Class 8 champions! If you want to enhance your event or make the experience better for your viewers, reach out to Varsity Media today and learn more about our live sportscast. Contact Varsity Media at 516-403-2050 or email ben at varsitymedia.net. Varsity Media offers live streaming, videography, and photography services for all teams and individuals of all ages. In business since 2010, we are the trusted source when it comes to sports media coverage. If you have a big game that needs to be filmed or live streamed, or an athlete in need of action photography, reach out today and save 15% when you mention this ad. Contact us at 516-403-2050 or email ben at varsitymedia.net. Third quarter about to get underway after a dominant first half for Iona Prep in this intersectional championship. An 8-1 to one lead over Kellenberg. Jared, what, what are you looking for for Kellenberg to start the second half? Maybe, maybe a little bit of that. A little bit of swagger, right? <laughs> and racing in is Anzalona Bouncer. Can't finish it. Yeah, and Anzalone has been one of the few players on this Kellenberg offense to get separation on his dodges and really make some plays. So I definitely want to see him be one of the facilitators here for the Firebirds. And Maverick Chernoff had the lone goal. Maybe get him into some shooting spots. Anzalone hunting for space, quadruple teamed. And maybe an ill-advised attempt, but again, it's hard to say that given the quality of shots that Kellenberg got in the first half. They tried to move the ball, struggled to do so. At a certain point, you just you got to take the ones you get. Nice move from Sluka. 
but tied up. Man, that was a beautiful bit of defending by Will Scala. And maybe an illegal bit of defending <laughs> by Will Scala. It looks like they might get him for a hold there. We'll end up seeing what the call is, but yeah, Scala, he... He has been locked down here this afternoon, just like so many other Iona prep defenders. But Kellenberg, their lone goal came on the extra man opportunity. We'll see what they're able to do here. Thomas Jack. Now Anzalone on the little circle play. They're trying to get Anzalone those spot-up looks. 16 goals on the season, two-handed. Has a heck of a shot, but just hasn't been able to finish the start the second half. Is he? This time it's Felicetti. Portante on top of it. And what a skip pass by Donovan O'Toole to find Felicetti on the far side, but Portante just makes another big-time save. And he has made some key stops in this one that are very difficult. That really is why the reason why it is 8-1. We could be looking at an 8-4 or 8-5 game right now if Portante has not stepped up. Yeah, I mean, that, that first possession for Kellenberg obviously really stands out. As, um, there's a nice ground ball there from Dylan Willis. They had those three shots, and those are the three hardest saves that Portante's had to make all game. He set the tone. Kellenberg has not threatened to the same extent since. Sluka dancing around. Nice little body stop from Anzalone. Almost looked like a soccer move. You got to give props to Ryan Lundstedt on the Sionic Prep defense, who has been terrific. 6'3", 205. He's shown amazing quickness being able to keep up with O'Toole for most of the day. Yeah, and, and, and certainly leveraging the physicality advantage, the length of a stick. As Anzalone battered away. And now Sluka. Yeah, it's just been like running into a brick wall over and over again for Kellenberg. And give them credit. They've been game to try again, try again, and there you go. Maverick Chernoff paying it off off a good bit of ball movement from the Firebirds. Yeah, and Kellenberg is swinging the rock. Good things will happen. And Maverick Chernoff is one of the best shooters on this team. Peter Sluka does a good job drawing the double, and this is what the Firebirds are trying to do. They get it over to Anzalone, and the rotation for Iona Prep a little bit slow, so if you give Maverick Chernoff that type of shot, he's going to connect, and that's the second of the day for him. And Blaze New getting caught up in the muck that time. He, he's the last guy you expect to be behind on a slide. So an excellent bit of ball movement for Kellenberg, and they're back within six. A lot of work to go, but James Rosellen has made a comeback that would otherwise seem impossible, maybe plausible with how he's done at the X. So that time Tapia gets the better of him, and Blank shows off his world-class speed. Or at least New York State-class speed, we'll see. And that's, that's one of the big factors here for Kellenberg if they want to come back, is Rosellen has been good at the X. Although he didn't win that one, he has been very steady, so the Firebirds could get a little bit of a run here. Tim Plunkett turns and fires. Maybe this is probably a sacrilegious name to invoke, but there's like a little Joey Spolina in his game, like how he plays, like almost like a post player, right? Like pushing you down, pushing you down, always ready to dish, and, and, but also has that lightning quick release on his shot. Yeah, and he's doing it as a freshman, right? So he is very physical in his dodges, and he's able to post up those players. And at 5'10", 175, he's only going to get bigger, stronger, and faster. It's going to be interesting to see how he develops in his game. But the quick flick of the wrist that he, develop, that he develops and that he has is something very special. An excellent dodge there by Jack Ligerzewski. A nice slide over, though, for Iona Prep. And that was an over-ambitious look from Jake Grimm, but the how effective Iona Prep's been defensively, it pushes you as an attacker to take those types of risks. Yeah, sometimes you're going to look to make, you know, a skip pass like that because of how much pressure that, you know, you're facing. And Iona Prep being able to force a turnover there and settle in on offense now. And you just get the feeling, right, like whatever I normally do isn't good enough against this team. I have to do something spectacular. And that can mess you up. And substitution, Crew Davis charges in. He's been relatively quiet in this one. Again, another one of those excellent freshmen. He is over 20 points on the season. Yeah, Davis has been quiet on offense. On defense, he has just been a part of the Iona prep brick wall, winning his matchups, and then, of course, 
his offensive player would just move it, and you know he's been steady on that side of the ball. He's going to be a great two-way midi, especially the next three years for him. Yeah, they, they are super high on him. I mean, again, on, on a field with with Billy Haggerty, with Crew Davis, with Brandon Blank, Rick Trezano referred to him as, as consistently the best athlete on the field. Blaze new. Oh, that's a golden look and an easy put in for Plunkett. Freshman paying off the assist from the senior. Oh, and no goal. And we'll get another look at this one. And and we, did oh. he step in the crease here? He did not. And not a crease call. And they're going to change it. It's going to be a goal. As it looked like it had his hands up, that it was a goal. We'll see what the final decision is the here. Officials still sorting it out. And now the hands are up. Certainly wasn't a crease issue. At least for now, it's 8-2 to two on the scoreboard. And Calvary's going to get a free clear out of this as well. So another, one, another chance for Kellenberg. Can they pay it off? Anzalone in the operating room. Couple of dodges, draws a double. Man, that's, I, I love that about the Sionic prep defense, right? They're so aggressive, but they don't get caught out of position. Yeah, Kidder does a great job firing in on Anzalone. And these slides have come very quick and very hard. And Iron Prep does a great job recovering. They've only been caught one time lacking in that situation. That was the last goal. And here's an unforced error by the Kellenberg offense. And they've, they've been daring Kellenberg with that pressure, saying, all right, we'll double team you. Beat, beat us with the pass. And Kellenberg's just been largely, to your point, with that one exception, unable to do so. Davis streaking up the field. And you can only imagine what this Iona prep team is going to look like three seasons from now when all these guys are seniors. Yeah, it's going to be something special. I mean, you know, they've been putting on a show here today. And the scary part is a guy like Crew Davis, as a two-way midi, you know, you don't see a lot of those players as freshmen. And it's scary. And then, of course, Tim Plunkett and Billy Haggerty have just been unreal with the numbers they've put up at the attack position. And obviously we know what these guys bring from a skill perspective, but as freshmen, they're, they're physically ready, right? And I was wondering if Kellenberg would maybe try to, like, bully them a little bit, just get into their head with physicality, but they dictate the contact over and over and over again. Again, just don't, don't look or play like freshmen. Popping up. A little pump fake from Sean O'Boyle, another one of those freshmen. Losing it off the hard check was Dylan Reese. And a nice recovery off of it that time from Nick Johnson. Vicious pass, trying to get the clearance. Luca caught up in a sea of maroon. Losing the ball. And up comes Chris Moore, fighting hard. Now it's Reese. I'm almost surprised neither coaching staff tried to get a timeout in there. It's hard to tell who had possession, though. Yeah, the ball was on the carpet for a very long time there as it got all the way to the far sideline. And it looks like it will be Kellenberg possession. So throw into Chris Moore. Johnson's been a one-man clear at points this year. Not really used offensively, but maybe the single fastest guy on this team. Plays new an absolute pest to Maverick Chernoff. A little check there. Mm. And it's Lundstedt. He has been terrific for Iona Prep. And Grimm doing all he can just to hold on to the ball, unable to do so. And an extra bit of help defense there from Panzarello has also been excellent, a converted attacker. He's been playing his best lacrosse late in the year as well. Portante pushes the ball up ahead to Davis. So with that goal wiped off the board, maybe incorrectly. Iona Prep yet to score in the second half. Kellenberg, though. 
not able to take advantage of it. Charging in, Matt Plunkett. It's been kind of a bull in the china shop so far today. Yeah, Plunkett had a good head of steam on that dodge. He is not afraid to go and lower the shoulder. Crew Davis turns on the speed and puts it in the back of the net right on cue. The opening goal of the second half and the opening goal of Crew Davis's championship career. Yeah, quiet no longer. Davis with the short stick matchup and he shows that explosion. Davis does a good job just beating his guy, goes down the alley, slide not quite there, and he places that one in the five hole pass Villa. And, you know, a guy like Crew Davis, I mean, we're going to see in the next three years, when he's dodging down the alley, there's going to be two guys right there because he has that type of athleticism to make you pay. And, and that's such a big get. I mean, transferring from a Brunswick program that was rated the number one team in the country at the start of this season. So, y you know, he's played against top-notch competition all his life, and maybe, maybe he was a little bit surprised to find the freshman class at Iona Prep probably pretty comparable to what they have over there at Brunswick. Still finding a role on this team is Tapia. Maybe finding his rhythm, and it's now 10 to 2. So, belatedly, that goal from Tim Plunkett added on to Iona Prep's total. So, two on the day for Tim Plunkett. And a 10 to 2 lead for Iona Prep. Shot comes late from Dylan Reese. Yeah, that was good defense by Chris Moore as well. You know, they trusted number three in white there. There was no slide as Moore was just in the hands of Reese doing a good job, and he forced a really difficult shot as that one went wide, and Moore has definitely been one of the better players for Kellenberg here today. A little over 15 minutes to go on this one, at least in regulation. Haggerty pressured. Haggerty's been pretty quiet since he got the first goal of this game. Again, at this point in his career, more of a finisher, an elite finisher, but someone you'd expect as his career goes along will expand his dodging game. As Blank lost possession, so Kellenberg, three minutes to go. Look for their second goal of the second half. Beautiful check there by Fitzgerald, detwigging the Iona Prev Gale, and Kellenberg has done a good job in the clearing game throughout today's contest. That has been one of the bright spots. So now the Firebirds have an opportunity here on offense. So Luca's been held in check, tries to dodge through two defenders, pass deflected. It's been a common sight for the Kellenberg faithful today. Plays new point guard on the basketball team, sending it up the field. Yeah, Blaze knew, I mean, he picks up just about every single ground ball, and he has done a terrific job winning some of those battles here today and getting his team some key possessions which have led to some big-time goals for Iona Prep. And there'll be a delayed penalty here against Kellenberg. So free possession right now for Tim Plunkett and company. Racing away from the double team. Plunkett trying to maneuver, dispossessed, but now the penalty will come into play. Yeah, and that's offsides there. Kellenberg... Double team Plunkett as, you know, seven guys on that side of the field. But now Iona Prep has an opportunity to see if they could cash in on the player up chance. And for Iona Prep, the last time they had a man up, it was pretty simple. You know, they had a two-on-one on the backside, and Kellenberg's rotation just wasn't there as Plunkett snuck around X and got the simple finish. We'll see if Kellenberg adjusts here on the man down. So Iona Prep doesn't get another layup. Nice deflection, and that might be it. Chris Moore able to bat it over to Villa. And now Kellenberg just has to beat the ride. Streaking up the field is Dylan Willis. He has some solid speed. Willis to a risky pass, trying to squeeze that ball in and unable to do so. But Kellenberg will maintain possession regardless. With 90 seconds to go in the third quarter. Yeah, Kellenberg catches a break there as Iona Prep did a good job collapsing in on the ride. But now Kellenberg looking to kill the rest of this 
penalty. Yeah, Blank applying some heat, but Kellenberg doing a nice job just playing keep away with Levera. It's Luca. Throws one in from way out. A Hail Mary from Peter Sluka. And some much needed life breathed into Kellenberg's lungs. You know, that's what could happen sometimes. I under prep so worried about double teaming and getting the ball back on this man up opportunity. Sluka just getting lost and having a time and room opportunity. That one sneaking past Portante. And that's a needed goal for Kellenberg here late in the third quarter. Yeah, just, a, I mean, that was a heck of a shot from Sluka, like way outside, almost immediately on the catch. 6 2, 2 15. Shows off that force. Yeah, he's going to. He was, you know, a really talented football player here for Kellenberg. And one thing the Firebirds have done, although it's only turned in three goals, they have been able to catch and shoot very well. A lot of quick releases on this team. And you could see why they've scored some, you know, big time goals and why they've had outings where, you know, they easily put up double digits. Anzalone, risky pass, batted away. A bit of defending there from Jack Massett. So now it'll be Felicetti on the restart with 49 seconds to go in the third. Felicetti baits the slide. Step down shot off the mark from Anzalone. And that's exactly what Kellenberg wants, though. You know, getting Anz alone in a shooting spot like that, and that's a great opportunity off the dodge, and now they're going to have a chance right here off the end line. Kellenberg undoubtedly has had some better possession in the second half. The jump shot from Felicetti just off. Portante didn't give him much of a lane. And now Panzarella will start off the clear. The ball bounces in and out of the stick of Scala, who can't hold on. 16 seconds left. Great hustle from Iona Prep to keep it in, but that'll just kickstart the break for Kellenberg. Streaking ahead is Anzalone. Numbers for a, a moment for the Firebirds. Unable to get a clean catch on it, Anzalone. Diving shot at the horn. Good job just to get it off. Nothing doing. So an even third quarter for Kellenberg, but that might not be enough after facing a seven-goal deficit at the half. A little bit of life for the Firebirds, but a long way to go. Down by seven as we head to the fourth on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for upcoming schedules and content and on social media at Varsity Media. At Catholic Health, when we see our island, we see extraordinary life, the most extraordinary of which is you. It's because our Catholic faith places the highest value on people, all people. It's the inspiration for our exceptional medical care with unmatched compassion. And it's why at Catholic Health, you're more than a patient. You're someone's family, best friend, and a neighbor to us all. Long live Long Island. Varsity Media offers live streaming, videography, and photography services for all teams and individuals of all ages. In business since 2010, we are the trusted source when it comes to sports media coverage. If you have a big game that needs to be filmed or live streamed, or an athlete in need of action photography, reach out today and save 15% when you mention this ad. Contact us at 516-403-2050 or email ben at varsitymedia.net. Fourth quarter about to get underway. Reminder, you're watching the CHSAA Intersectional Championship presented by Catholic Health. And the winner of this game, of course, goes on to play the Catholic champion out of Buffalo. Iona, Iona Prep won that game, won the state title a year ago. Looking to repeat would be their fifth title in school history, or rather their sixth title in school history, and the second time they've repeated under Rick uh, Trezano, having previously won in 2009, 2010, 2015, 2019, and then, of course, last year. And a good start off for Kellenberg after winning the faceoff. They're going to draw a penalty here. So the Firebirds are going to get back on the extra man opportunity. And we'll see what their man up crew has in store for us here to start off the fourth quarter. 
Jared, you, you've watched a lot of lacrosse in your life. What, what, what is the biggest fourth quarter comeback you, you ever remembered? Oh, man, biggest fourth quarter comeback. Off the top of my head, I mean, I've seen... It, it, it's tough because you, you, you played for high school that wasn't trailing very much. So. Yeah, no, <laughs> so, so it definitely did not trail by too much. But, um, you know, college across, definitely I saw Notre Dame back in uh, the Final Four against Denver, an unreal comeback, I believe, to uh, send it into overtime. It was nuts. I think, you know, Sergio Perkovic had like five goals in one quarter. So, uh, yeah, that was a really cool game. All right, so Kellenberg trying to channel some of that energy down by seven here. 11.30 to go in the fourth. Little toss back to Felicetti. Extra pass. Shot deflected, uh, I think, again off the foot. Maybe it was the stick of Portante, but he's been amazing on those low shots all game long. Yeah, I mean, you've given so much credit to this Iona Prep defense, and Portante really has been the head of it. I mean, just such tough saves. Like, that was really not easy. These Columbia kids can absolutely hammer the ball. And, and again, they haven't been able to get room, but... They've had some great shots in this game. That, not one of them, is turnoff. Couldn't get all of it going for the one-timer. But a dangerous situation with Portante stuck out of the cage. Iona Prep, fortunately for them, able to win the ground ball. And a timeout taken, I believe, by Iona Prep. Rick Trezano wanting to talk as we'll take a look at our upcoming playoff sports cast schedule here on the Varsity Media Sports Network. So... St. Dominic and Kellenberg doing battle on the baseball side of things. Um, that game tonight, you can check it out. Starts in 13 minutes uh, right after this one. And then Harbor Fields and Mount Sinai. Mount Sinai undefeated on the year. Top 10 in the country looking to continue their run. Uh, Smithtown East and Connectquat. What, what do you make of that one, Jared? Oh, I'm excited for that. And, you know, Smithtown East, they just got a huge win against Huntington. And, you know, speaking of comebacks, they were trailing 6-1 to one in that game. They ended up beating Huntington. They get to go against the one seed, Connectquat, who has the two leading goal scorers on Long Island, Tyler Moore and Tyler McCarthy. Mm -hmm. You know, that's going to be super exciting. you got a Smithtown East team that's hot. And then, of course, Connectquat, who is the top team in Suffolk Class A. So I think yeah. that's going to be an amazing game. Potentially could see Northport on the other side of that bracket. Yep. That Connectquat Northport game on the varsity media airwaves, a, a, a heck of a matchup. The first time around, Northport, of course, lost so much talent from their Long Island championship team a year ago. More experience with Jack Delaberti. That would be a fascinating game. And a reminder that on June 3rd, we have our mega cast here on the Varsity Media Sports Network pre- and post-game all day, live from Stony Brook for all four games. We talked about it earlier, but that Manhasset mount Sinai game going to be flat out one of the most anticipated high school lacrosse games in the country this season. Two top ten teams doing battle. Mount Sinai, led by Joey Spolina, got the better of it. Two years ago, last year was Mount Sinai and Joey Terenzi getting the upset and preemptively ending the career of the number one player in the country. There's another flag here against Kellenberg as we've resumed action here in this excuse me, intersectional championship game. So I own a prep. Essentially a free play here looking to take advantage of it. And the girls are going to settle here. And that's exactly what Iona Prep wanted. They get the man down, stop, and then they draw a penalty of their own. So now Iona Prep could enjoy this free possession, see what they get, and then they'll have the extra player opportunity. I've always thought very similar to football. This has to be so fun. If you're an attacker, you're like, coach can't get mad at me. This is, this is a freebie. I, I just get to go to work. <laughs> yeah, no, they're looking to get the free possession. Maybe we'll see an invert or a dodge from up top and we'll see if the ball stays in bounds. Yeah, or maybe, maybe a bad turnover. <laughs> oh, what a play by Blank. Yeah, it almost, almost felt like that was intentional him, him waiting for the defender to come up blank. Trying to go about one on five. Instead of late pass and a goal. What a possession for Brandon Blank, the senior, setting up the first goal of this one for Luke Pasacrita. On blank, so pretty. Picking up that ground ball off the side, beating his defender. And Iona Prep, they have numbers here. He does a good job hesitating to beat his defender and then finding... A cutting teammate, Gale's enjoying an eight-goal lead now. And it looks like they're going to wipe off the penalty, but I don't know, Prep, they'll, they'll take that goal. That was puppet master type stuff from Brandon Blank. Almost felt like he was waiting for the defender to come up on that ground ball and had the entire Kellenberg defense in the palm of his hand, drawing three defenders, and then just passing it off, setting up his guy, Luke Pasacrita. 
Yeah, and you can tell Blank's a senior, right? Because he baited this Kellenberg defense not once but multiple times in this one. He's done a good job as a feeder, but also as a scorer, as he had a big-time goal earlier in this one. He certainly has been terrific for Iona Prep here in this downstate championship. Man, Matt, Matt Plunkett is, is fun to watch. He hasn't had a ton of success doing it today, but he is absolutely a wrecking ball. Just keeps coming at you. It's an 11-3 game, and he's totally laying his body on the line trying to mow down defenders. You know, he's one of those guys that just brings the juice. Mm. And Iona Prep has a couple of those. They're really fun to watch. Blaze New and, of course, Plunkett. They just they love the physicality, and they're all about it. You know, we've seen that all throughout this game. So Tim Plunkett playing that point guard spot. Leading the way for Mexican. 50 assists on the season. Just a rare number for a freshman. Uh, and there's an extra effort play from Matt Plunkett. Again, not on the mark. He, he desperately does not want to leave this game without a goal. Yeah, he bounced off a couple of defenders there. And he had a twister attempt. And that shot almost got on cage. But it was just wide. Now we'll see his brother go to work for Max. He's playing like they're down 11-3 to three right now. Yeah, that, and that's the energy that he brings. And, you know, Iona Prep has kept the foot on the pedal here so far in the fourth quarter. As you know, they've taken their time, but they have been dodging very hard and very efficiently. And, and look, you give Kellenberg all the credit in the world. They, they have far from given up on this game. As That was another excellent cross-field look um, for Iona Prep from Sean O'Boyle. But the, the level of urgency, even in this second half, I would argue has been in favor of Iona Prep. Yeah, I'd have to agree with you on that. And Iona Prep, that was a great offensive possession right there with the skip pass and getting a golden opportunity. But Charlie Villa has been solid in that. That was another yeah. great stop for the Tampa commit. He has been playing very well for Kellenberg. No knock on him. And Plunkett got another opportunity this time, stepped in the crease, though. Another ambitious clearance attempt from Willis. And able to pull it off. Man, that was awesome. And he drew from a Dylan Willis, yeah. Still going with it. <laughs> Said, I'm not stopping until they stop me. And another flag comes in. So free possession for Kellenberg. Good look. Easy shot. And the finish for the Firebirds. Jack Ligurzewski, his first of the game. Oh, and that's, and that's the D midi Ligurowski getting in on the fun offensively. And after drawing so many penalties from Willis, Phyllis said he does a good job being patient. He draws multiple defenders, then dishes it inside to Ligurowski, and he finishes that one right on top of the crease. Kellenberg getting their fourth goal of the game. And it was an awesome pass from Thomas Jack just to get out of his stick quickly to Phyllis Setti. And, and you give Dylan Willis, like, that was a one-man army. He awesome. drew five or six guys there. Yeah, and he did it from, I want to say, about, you know, the 25-yard yeah. line of his own. He was just fighting through defenders. <laughs> he drew a penalty on his own side of the field, and then after getting over the 50-yard line, Iona Prep Gales were still hacking away, and Willis fought through all of them, able to get it to his teammate, and then Kellenberg being able to do the rest. And it looks like that, you know, because it's multiple penalties, we'll see if they start with the ball or if we're going to get a face-off, maybe a man down face-off as the... Officials are still discussing. Jared, I know you're a slightly more accomplished athlete than me, but I would have been gassed trying to do what Dylan Willis just did on air. That was just ridiculous. And look, if you're, if you're Kevin Feckman at this point, right, probably not going to win this game down by seven goals, a little over seven and a half minutes left. You're, you're looking for moments to build on heading into the offseason. Yeah, and, you know, the one thing about Willis right there, you know, his toughness has been shown all year long, but, like, that was one of the grittiest plays I've seen all year. You know, I've seen a bunch of high school lacrosse games all throughout the season, and that was one of the best hustle plays that, you know, I've seen throughout all of the island. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, that's, you know, hats off to Dylan Willis there making a play for his team, and Kellenberg being able to cash in on the unsettled situation because of Willis causing all that havoc and all those penalties. So we'll step aside. We'll see if Kellenberg can continue the momentum down by seven here on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for upcoming schedules and content and on social media at Varsity Media. Are you a local business looking to advertise? Well, Varsity Media is the perfect place for you. 
We offer affordable rates both inside our live stream broadcast and through our social media channels. With coverage all over Long Island targeting the 16 to 54 demographic, why not take advantage and advertise today? For pricing and inventory availability, contact us today at 516-403-2050 or email ben at varsitymedia.net. Quick correction, that was Dawson, not Dylan Willis, on that incredible play, giving a little bit of life to the Kellenberg Firebirds, down by seven. And we'll see with those two penalties. Yep, they will have the ball coming out of this timeout. So chance to make this a six-goal game, 7.42 to go. Starting the stick of Michael Felicetti. And they're up not just one player, but two right now. It's going to be a six on four. And for Kellenberg, you know, they're going to look for a layup. And we'll see how Iona Prep, they love to extend out, but, you know, down two men, they're going to have to slough in and maybe let some of these outside shooters for Kellenberg have an opportunity. Kellenberg really working the ball. Hunting for that perfect shot, as you should, with a two-man advantage. Step down. Portante able to bat it off the crossbar, but then the ball goes in on the rebound. Second opportunity for Thomas Jack, and he takes advantage of it. And yeah, that's exactly what Kellenberg was looking for as Iona Prep, of course, having to stay in towards the middle of the field. And Filicetti wide open from about seven or eight yards. Good shot, wasn't able to go, but great job picking up the garbage was Thomas Jack. And, and he's been excellent doing that down the stretch of the season. Had four goals and an assist their last time out, which was a really big win for Kellenberg. Um, and, and again, it's, it's rarely self-created for him. He, he's a basketball player, has that innate sense of spacing. It's all on rebounds, all on hockey assists, showing off that ability right there. Tapia bats it out, still fighting for it. Ball knocked away. That time from Will Scala. And we'll see what the officials say. So possession won by Kellenberg, and then a quick timeout taken by Kellenberg. So down by six, 7-10 to go. A little bit of life for the Firebirds when we come back on the Varsity Media Sports Network. You're watching the Varsity Media Sports Network, the home for New York High School Sports. Now is the time to order a college recruiting video with Varsity Media. College recruiting videos can save thousands of dollars on college tuition and help land a spot on the team. Our videos include your best plays set to music with spot shadowing effects to help you stand out from the competition. Contact Varsity Media today and mention this ad to save 15% Call 516-403-2050 or email jeff at varsitymedia.net. 11-5 ball game. Kellenberg has gotten the better of the last couple of minutes in this one. And a reminder, if you aren't already, to subscribe on youtube.com slash varsitymedia. Just exit out of your full screen, hit that big red subscription button, and follow us on all forms of social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. You can go to any of those four platforms to watch our coverage of the Long Island Lacrosse Championships pregame and postgame. Some excellent passing here for the Firebirds. Shot off the mark, though, from Rosellen. Or, excuse me, that time from Anzalone. Kellenberg a little bit more patient offensively. Feels like their spacing has been better in the second half. And they're looking to take advantage of this man up. And contacted on the shot. And alone. Backed up, though, by Thomas Jack. Just under seven minutes to go in this one. Quick ball movement. Vara took a seat off some aggressive defense from Scala. Felicetti with that advantage dwindling away. 
And pass too high for Anzalone. Anzalone racing. And a nice job on that line by Chris Moore, able to bat it up. It's another opportunity for Kellenberg. Chernoff maybe took too late to decide what he wanted to do there before getting caught up in the Gales muck. Yeah, almost an opportunity there for Kellenberg. Great job by Chris Moore, keeping the ball on that side of the field. It gave the Firebirds some life, but Iona Prep standing tall near the crease, and they're going to keep that six-goal lead with just 540 left in this one. Crew Davis will slow things up and reset. And it, it's impressive, the, the composure you see from this really young Iona Prep team. You expect it from their seniors, but these freshmen just don't seem to make freshman mistakes. Yeah, they've really, you know, learned a lot from their seniors. And you could tell, you know, throughout the year, you know, they had that early loss to Staples. They've built off that, and they learned from it. And, you know, it's really showing in these playoff games, whether it was against Stepanak, and they trailed early and they kept their composure, or here today after getting out to an early lead. Nick Johnson kicked off the fast break. Fancy passing, but Rocco Portante said no. Shutting it down, and then saying yes was Michael Anzalone on the rebound. Man, that was the best sequence of this ball game for Kellenberg. Rocco Portante shut it down, but then Michael Lanzalone able to pay it off on the rebound. I know, that was fun to see. Great save by Portante. Ball up in the air for grabs, and Anzalone does an unreal job grabbing it. And then the bounce shot for the finish. He has been all over the field hustling here today, and he was loving it after that one. So Kellenberg down by five with just five minutes left. I've seen crazier things. Need a goal a minute, and of course you can't give anyone up. Have to be pretty much perfect at the X. Rosellen got it initially, but Tappy, a nice secondary effort. And Iona Prep, this might be a situation where Rick Trezano, excuse me, wants them to slow down, and they'll do just that after initially looking like they wanted to break. Yeah, you're really going to have to slow this one down, especially, you know, in a game like this where there's no shot clock, there's really no pressure to shoot. You know, Plunkett's really going to have to just do his thing, keep you know his ball security, and I don't know perhaps going to have to play the possession game, maybe chop off a minute or two. Plunkett looping around, jump shot, risky, Villa all over it. And now Sluka will lead transition the other way. We've seen a lot of kick saves from these two goaltenders today. And I really think it speaks on their athleticism, you know, being able to get to those spots. And, you know, both of these goalies have really played great all season. So, you know, it's no surprise that they're making big-time saves on a stage like this. It's certainly been, if you're, if you're looking for a standout position group between the two teams, it's, it's been the goaltenders. Jack. Tried to circle his way back around the crease, was cut off well. And for Kellenberg, right, there has to be some urgency now. 3.41 to go, five goals to make up. Long pass, Felicetti, the juke, sneaks it through, but the shot from Jack couldn't get by. The sea of Maroon streaking the other way now is Iona Prep, Panzarella, the long stick, gives it off and slowing it down wisely, Dylan Reese. Wide open, fake jump shot, blocked away. Again, another maybe ill-advised shot. We've seen two of those freshmen who are just complimenting for their savvy. Plunkett and Crew Davis fire in a situation where Rick Trezano probably just wants them to hold the ball. Yeah, maybe not the smartest shot there from Davis, but one thing I will give to him, that was one of the most beautiful hitches mm. that I've seen uh, in this game. And, you know, Davis has shown why he is going to be a special player. But, you know, three minutes left in this game, you know, Maybe when he comes off of the sideline, maybe not take that shot, but he's certainly showing, you know, that he's going to be terrific. Yeah, and Kellenberg, you saw the stoppage in play because Michael Anzalone took that shot to his body, helped off the field, seems to be all right. So Kellenberg with under three minutes to go. Sprinting in. Oh, what a race to the cage. Portante, though, blocked away what would have been the goal of the game from Donovan O'Toole. 
And O'Toole slipped through the defense there. He showed his quickness and his explosiveness, but it looked like the Gales' defense just got to him towards the end. Felicetti, good look, but Jack smothered. Trying to reset up top, but instead an INT taking the other way. Will Scala up ahead to Blaze New. New and Haggerty wanted to shoot that ball. Lucky to get it back, and man, Iona Prep, they, they only know one speed. <laughs> they don't play keep away. There's a shot clock in their heads, even if it doesn't exist on the field. That was a veteran play by Blaze New there, catching that ball. It looked like he had an opportunity to shoot it, but he decided to go behind the cage, settle things down. Only two minutes left. Iona Prep will gladly take a possession here. He said, I, I, someone has to set a good example for these freshmen. Blaze New, again, the perennial leader, a three-time captain for an Iona Prep basketball team that is consistently excellent. Yeah, that's something exceptional. Dylan Reese moves the ball along. Eleven to six, ninety seconds to go. And remember, or a reminder, we will have an intersectional championship MVP. When this one's over, as Brandon Blank puts in another one, he's a good contender for that spot, as that was his fourth goal of the game. Yeah, Blank, one of those seniors who has been terrific here today. And of course, Kellenberg, you know, they're looking to, you know, apply a lot of pressure, empty cage, Blank going to finish that one every single time and that's the icing on the cake for a great performance from him but overall as a team Iona Prep they really came to play today. Absolutely and you know if I, if I had to give it to one person maybe I'd go Rocco Portante because I, I thought like when this game was at its most competitive which was the first possession of the game he was the guy who set the tone for Iona Prep. Yeah three saves on those on that first possession and Portante also you know even when the Gales were up four or five nothing he stood tall in net and he kept Iona Prep up big in this one. And give Christian Tappy a lot of credit, right? Because he, he has really picked up his work at the faceoff X over the course of the second half. And it's proven to be important with how Kellenberg has found their offense in half number two. Yeah, Tappy has did a good job, you know, really neutralizing uh, a hot Rosellen who was winning a lot of draws. And when Kellenberg was getting, you know, a lot of stringing some goals together, Iona Prep really slowed it down and they got the ball on offense. You know, they showed why their offense can really click. And Iona Prep now in excellent position to win a second consecutive state championship. They'll face some stiff competition, whoever comes out of the Buffalo side of things. It's another lacrosse hotbed in New York State. And the state championship's always an exciting one. Whether, you know, it's such a great opportunity for the Buffalo schools either to come down here or host an Iona Prep or a Kellenberg, depending on the year. It's always a fun matchup, and you know, winning a state championship, what's better than that as a high school athlete? Absolutely. An extra pass, chance for a little window dressing for Kellenberg, and not able to fit it in on a good looking attempt from Sean Richards. So I gotta imagine Iona Prep will just run out the clock again, everyone in that greater Westchester area expected this to be Archbishop Stepanak's year, a veteran-laden team that has been building up and a program that is absolutely on the rise. Iona Prep, at least since Rick Trezano has been there in 2006, they've been the power in that area. This was supposed to be the one year they maybe didn't quite have the experience, but they surprised everyone, got out of that game, and then Jared, an absolutely dominant effort today and they will wrap up a 12-6 victory, an intersectional championship, and yet another berth in the New York State Class AA Catholic Championship game. Big time all-around performance for the Gales, and coming into this one, they wanted to avoid a slow start, so they did the exact opposite, and they jumped out to a 7-0 lead. This Iona Prep team had a huge performance, and... Yeah, the freshmen, the seniors, you name it, they really got it done. A complete team effort, and, man, the future is bright, as it is for Kellenberg as well. Again, Kevin Fechtman, 
in his first year getting the Firebirds back to this game, a win over Fordham prep to get in, and, and an excellent end to the season for Kellenberg. And even if the first half was a struggle, we, we saw some stuff to build on in the second half for Kellenberg. Yeah, and Kellenberg has, you know, a lot of juniors coming back and some sophomores as well. You know, we were calling the names of Donovan O'Toole, Mike Filicetti, and Matthew Anzalone a lot. They're all back next year. So, you know, the Firebirds have a lot to be excited about. And, you know, next season they're going to have some really good players on their hands, and this matchup's going to be really, really good. All right, so we'll, we'll stick right here to see who ends up getting the MVP of this one. Again, we have some good contenders, Brandon Blank. Rocco Portante, Tim Plunkett was his usual, excellent self. Blaze New certainly had some moments defensively. And it looks like we are going to hold off and we're going to wait to see who the official MVP is. A couple guys in the mix there. Um, and Iona Prep, again, is a fantastic opportunity to go upstate, take on the best out of Buffalo. I mean, what, what do you see as the trajectory for some of these freshmen? Because it, it's often like guys can have success early in their career, not necessarily build off it. But this feels like a group that is just going to get better and better and better over time. And I think one of the unique things about this freshman class is, you know, they're playing all together on varsity and having success so early on. You know, Billy Haggerty and Tim Plunkett are already building so much chemistry. They have a championship under their belt. They have a huge win over Stepanak already in their careers. And, you know, they're showing why, you know, they're some of the best players in their class. So to build that chemistry and to win big games is something huge. So it's definitely going to be interesting to see Iona Prep build on that. And other freshmen as well, you know, Crew Davis, who's a special athlete. I think, you know, it all comes down to just, you know, that work over the summer and just improving and improving and keep on playing with each other and the chemistry is really something great and, and look you have to credit at the end of the day the job the job that rick trezano has done with this team when, it, when he came into this iona prep program i mean far from being a perennial contender they were something of a doormat playing in, in the new york metro league and look they had they had good teams they had good moments but they never had close to the consistency that they found under rick trezano we noted it five state championships his oldest son um, Nick came through the program. It was a pretty incredible story as we see the MVP being awarded to Brandon Blank, it looks like. Four-goal game, the Siena commit, a senior going out on a high note. Yeah, and Blank, he was really all over the field. I mean, he showed why, you know, he's one of the fastest players in all of New York State, and Blank was tremendous all afternoon, and he really put, you know, the icing on the cake for the Gales towards the second half. Downstate champs heading to play the best out of Buffalo for a second consecutive state championship. Iona Prep, the future is bright, but the present is looking pretty good. For my partner, Jared Veluzzi, and our entire team here on the Varsity Media Sports Network, Travis DeLuise on camera, our technical director, Chris Sweeney, our executive producer, Ben Turch, and I'm Gavin Shaw, but I'll be proud to call myself John Perez for the day. An excellent win for Iona Prep.